Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is the last day of what camp. Uh, I, I had a tremendous, uh, great uh, last two days, uh, contributor day and the first what camp day. But then today is the last day. I have a kind of a sad feeling uh, as we all will be going back home to our res respective uh, destinations. But then I, after the pandemic, we come across together and uh, it's, it's a great feeling. It's a happy feeling seeing all uh, looking at, uh, at the happy faces. This is indeed a great feeling. So uh, I'll, I'll go straight away to, to my presentation, uh, which says uh, this is a very interesting topic I was coming across while I was studying uh, a lot of stuff during pandemic. And in the last two years, coming across a lot of people, a lot of professionals, uh, their experience, their journey during the pandemic, after the pandemic as well, when uh, it was unlocked. So I thought I will speak to a, a topic which is like uh, how the psychological imbalance has affected the writing style or motivated the writing style of the content writers when we are finished off 2022 and entering into 2023 and onwards. So having said that, uh, let's uh, set up the tone for the next uh, 30 minutes or so when I roll out with my presentation. So here we go. So there is a Tremendous change of consumer behavior when the pandemic just finished off. So what we have come across, this is loneliness, anxiety, sadness, and then the damage trust factor. Now what is damage trust factor? A lot of, uh, we, we have come across so many threats, so many disruptions that we have lost our faith we have lost confidence in ourselves. So then, hybrid mode of work. So this is another paradox. Like, you know, you have uh, both the experiences, you were working from home during the pandemic, and then we, we are switching over to a hybrid mode of work once the pandemic was over. Uh, companies asking you to work three days from home and two days from the office. So that's a peculiar situation. You don't know how to combat it, how to face it. Now, the, there are a lot of tensions within, like the, the, there are a lot of companies which came up with the contractual systems right from as soon as the pandemic was over. So you have a challenge, like you don't know how to, how to face it, uh, how to react to it. And you can't leave the situation as well. You, ha you are stepped into it. So, so now the people are looking for simultaneously as the, the, the main uh, occupation has gone under contractual. They're looking for extra income. So once that is looking for extra income, or m maybe uh, when, when they're free from the main job, uh, using their... Uh, some past time, they, they are once again under pressure. They, they get a little time to interact to, to their family members. That's another challenge. That gives you a threat, at, uh, actually. And your identity, it, it becomes a challenge. It, it becomes under crisis. So you lo lose your own identity. You are stepped into the work only. So what happened? Like rules got relaxed once the pandemic wa wa is over. In most of the countries, the rules got relaxed. There is no, you know, no mandatory thing of putting, putting off masks on your face. There is, the travel is unrestricted. I mean, it is kind of open. Now, social functions, gathering are completely open. 
and the hygiene requirements at the back of the mind when everybody is saying how how big is the question for hygiene to maintain your hygiene activities it's people tend to forget things when they are on the move so that's another challenge so how hygienic we are when we are on the move so and if you if you come across like the the behaviors are still swinging it is not static it has not got a static platform that that you will understand the situation and will behave accordingly the kind of imbalance so there are the the cause behind is this remote and hybrid mode of work the mixed work life balance more day to day digital functioning and no time for relaxation as i've already told now with the unlock people start working on hybrid mode and there are some challenges once again so they are struggling with office space at home so you have a office office space you you created that during the pandemic and now you are working on the hybrid mode you don't know how to react right like you you can't you know uh, improvise your office space uh, your home office space compared to your actual office space in the office so it's once again once again it's a challenge to to just to you know keep a bridge between these two um next is your inter office communication you work at the home in a different mode you work in an office from a, a, in a in a another different way but then you don't know how to communicate or make a bridge between these two so communication communication becomes dif- different and when you work from home you you have certain engagements and uh, you have certain things to do the people like uh, at home expect you to do some some uh, works at home normally naturally even if you are working from home so that's that gives you a challenge that gives you a threat so now you so that that's the way you cannot maintain uh, your professional and personal lives and your mental health gets affected by it so now as a content writer as a blog writer when you are writing under the circumstances what is happening your blog and content writing is highlighted or it gets a, a niche audience when you come across a lot of audience you interest try and interact with lot of human interactions so human interactions give you a lot of flair and a lot of meat in your writing a lot of content in your writing but we are now at home you are working on a hybrid hybrid mode you were less interactive as far as your connectivity is concerned so so what do you have to do so while writing you should look for empathy highlight on empathy you you have to be very very compassionate for the people for whom you were writing you write genuine insightful and useful content don't write trash don't write uh you know fluff you you try to write insightful less content which can make a difference in their social activities or professional activities you don't become tone deaf you you try to s- stick to a tone which is which will be familiar to your audience in 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 these period of time 
and double check your content before it gets uploaded, gets live. And then converse in social media, it's the way because now, still now, it's, you are not very open to interact to the people. I'm not talking about what comes Asia because we, it is a fun fair, it's a wonderland. We are interacting with everybody, but very few people across the world get a chance to come across a fun fair like this. We are fortunate. So for them, the social media is the only way, only platform where you can have, you can stay connected, you can stay conversed, and you can be happy. So share strat strategies and daily tips to stay safe and how to motivate yourselves. So this can work magical. Then share customized resources of writing. I'm, I'm talking especially for the writers, right? Content. So just try to share a lot of resource links, a lot of blog posts, blog links that you can share that can always ch change the lives. That, that can always change the change and motivate them, motivate your readers. And content, just remember, as I've, as uh, Vishal was telling in, in his, in my introduction, like I was speaking to Oxford in 2019, um, where I had submitted my research paper, where I told that content is no more the king, content distribution is. That is the actual king. You can write content, but if it doesn't have the, you know, a real uh, meat in it, a real uh, essence in it, it cannot reach to your audience. Be very, very careful. You can read number of pages of content, but it will not, not hit to the audience unless and until it has a mission, it has a thought, it has a genuine, insightful ideas. So under the circumstances, a lot of people are under threats, still under threats, a lot of anxieties going on, a lot of psychological disadvantages. So don't take chances or don't take advantage of the situation. Remember, whatever you are writing, whatever you are speaking to, a, to your fellow person, to your friend, it can act as a healing process. And this can actually help motivate the society as well, as a whole. So communicate with valid information. If you are not sure about your information that you were sharing, don't go for it. And valid information, if it is a valid information that you want to share, always do a fact checking. And unless and until you are sure that it, it's, it, it has a feeling, it has uh, an emotion attached to it, it has a real facts and figures, do not go for sharing. Try to uplift the moral of the people for whom you were writing. Like, share brilliant success stories of the leaders from different communities. That will help motivate people in a long way. And provi pro provide accurate, empathetic information the communication should be direct, transparent, and in a very timely manner. Don't write something which is of maybe a couple of months back in incident or maybe something irrelevant in, in, in today's talk. For, for those who are working uh, in different companies, Emails is a must, but apart from that, if you were writing something in social media, if you, if you were trying to communicate, chatting someone in social media, going live, doing a webinar, doing an online seminar, 
be very very uh, you know categorical in whatever you are communicating L remember lackluster communication can give you a hit because once you are identified in this socially connected world that your talks whatever you are saying that it's coming from a from you not as a from your own belief but you are a little shaky as for your belief is concerned you are nowhere nobody will trust you so this trust factor is very very important and be very very straightforward be very very empathetic in your approach and customers will always value your effective business content which is unique and penetrating be very very categorical about uniqueness of your content do not go by by the law do not go by what other people are thinking do not go by the world what whatever you are coming across don't take it as a, as a bible right so so be be of your own and try to inculcate something try to come up with the content which can really help people motivate people in a bigger way and change the change the direction so words of encouragement strategies cope with the current reality and resources and that's the need of the hour and inject rays of hope that's what i'm constantly telling you guys because this is a time that we are kind of an imbalanced situation psychologically and we have we need a lot of people to motivate ourselves we need a lot of handholding we need a lot of collaborations after the pandemic i've i've come across a lot of uh, big guys from big uh, corporates who look for collaborations in different thousand different ways so whenever you write something whenever you want to communicate prioritize the informational needs your clients first remember your your customers your your audience your people with whom you are dealing with you with whom you are working with they come first so always uh, share helpful content which evoke emotion under the circumstances because we are in a very uh, typical and very awkward situation even today in in the mid uh, february of 2023 uh, try to share a lot of uh, videos podcasts and success stories employees anecdotes you can uh, do a, a in different ways but come across with a lot of positive notes that's very important highlight the need for change don't tick, stick to a a very uh, you know traditional way of thinking just try to break the barrier but in a way which which is sympathetic compassionate uh, to 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 your fellow readers your fellow compatriots and just make them learn make them understand that you, they need to be willing to adapt things as fast as possible so it's a dramatic changing scenario that can create unique opportunities of business so if you can adapt first if you can uh, you know make yourself available for the need of the hour then you get a success very quickly now and and try to try to develop telemarket content customized content whenever and whatever way your client looks for because it's a changing world there are a lot more things coming up i was uh, i i in my company 
I, I run an IT company in, in Calcutta, India. And uh, there, I, I handle around 42 global clients for content. So I have seen a radical change of requirement after the pandemic. And for example, some, some, uh, one of the clients who, who has been working since last five years with me suddenly come across and ask for some content, which is an animation, animated movie, which is an animated movie. And they want, to, they want me to write, or my team to write, the basic background of the entire movie so that and that that content whatever we will write that content content will come as a voiceover so people who have no time to go through the entire movie can hear the voiceover looking at the gist of the movie which will come in a clip like maybe for 15 minutes clip or 12 minutes clip and he will have, a, ha, have an understanding of the uh, horror animation. And the voiceover will create and give them a, an understanding of the entire movie. So this kind of content is required. It's, it's of around 1,200, 1,500 content, 1,500 word content. And, and th these content is the need of the hour, probably. So they need huge bulk uh, range of content on, on these areas. Which, which was never ever there pre-pandemic. So, and, and don't play with the fears. Uh, that, that, that is always the temptation. So that's all. Thank you so much.